The following is a presentation of the Retro Network. It's Jay back with you inside the virtual Nerd Lounge. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for being a subscriber to TRN TV. And I uh, hope you will continue to uh, get these videos, watch these videos as we go through season two of Jay Plays and my mobile game reviews. One of my favorite uh, franchises from the 80s, if you want to call it a franchise, uh, there was a movie, eh. There was a cartoon series that never aired, eh. So we didn't really get uh, much past the awesome trading cards. But they were such a phenomenon that the Garbage Pail Kids, holy cow, were huge uh, among me and my friends. They were huge at school. And, you know, just collecting the cards, you were there were stickers too. You know, there you peel them off, you stick them on your Trapper Keeper, you stick them on whatever. And they were just everywhere, you know. And they were very, very taboo. All the you know teachers, the parents. Oh, we didn't want this. This is nasty stuff. Why are you collecting these weird cards with snot hanging out of their mouths and heads cut halfway open? You know, and that made them more uh, desirable to collect because the parents didn't want you to have them. And anything your parents don't want you to have, you got to explore. So, the Garbage Pail Kids were just huge uh, back in the eighties. And when I learned that they had a uh, mobile game coming, I was very excited because I'm a huge fan of the Galaxy of Heroes uh, under the Star Wars brand. I've been playing that game for way too long. Uh, years. And I saw that it was kind of that style. It's uh, not really card collecting. Uh, maybe RPG is what you would uh, label it as. But uh, it's basically putting a team together and you're battling against other teams, collecting characters, that, that uh, kind of thing. And uh, I was on the, uh, you know, waiting to get the Garbage Pail Kids game for the longest time. Finally, it hit, uh, I think it came to Apple first, then over to uh, Android. Finally got it, started playing it, and I've gone back to it here and there. But anxious to show it off. I think you guys are going to uh, have fun with this. Get to see some of those uh, characters that we used to collect back in the day. So, let's check out Garbage Pail Kids, the mobile game on today's episode of J Plays. Let's do it. All right, so here we go with the Garbage Pail Kids from Reliance Games, Jago, or Jago Studios. And of course, Tops. Tops is the one that uh, owns Garbage Pail Kids. So uh, we've got some uh, data to download here. We're gonna get to our home screen and of and of course you can uh, buy stuff with your coins there, gems or real money, if you want to spend the real money to uh, upgrade your characters and everything. All right, so here is your home screen. Let's, uh, well, this up in the top right is all your currency and uh, energy. So you got like green energy, I'm 40 out of 86 on that. Your yellow, I'm 57 out of 86 on that. Your uh, coins, 232,000, and then I got 585 gems. Gems are the most uh, sought after currency in the game, help you level up and all that stuff. Uh, but you got all these places you can go in the middle. Let's go over here to the left first. You got an inbox, nothing uh, happening at the inbox there. Uh, if I click out of here uh, at the top left got my picture in there uh, that's where you get you know daily rewards and everything and here's my card collection let's look at that so we got uh, Roybot excuse my thumb as I'm going back and forth here come on now Get a little slow today okay here we go Roybot Boney Joni TV Stevie Half Nelson New Wave Dave Odd Todd Armpit Brit and many Lenny. Those are all the characters I have. Of course, all these are down here characters that I've got a few cards and I just need uh, a few more to unlock or a lot of cards in some case like 
Adam Bomb. Everybody wants Adam Bomb, of course, if you're playing Garbage Spell Kids. But I've only got 15 out of 80 of the uh, cards needed to unlock that character. So, we'll just uh, come back out of here. Get back out. Let's work with me here, Garbage Spell Kids. All right, here we go. Uh, you got achievements down here as well, and you can see those. Uh, you can, they're long-term rewards. There's also short-term ones, uh, depending on what character you unlock and all that. So, uh, let's go down here. Let's see what's happening with events. So, there's an extremely rare event going on right now. Two days left. Have I got enough? I need five cards to enter that one, and I don't have enough cards. Let's go to this other rare event. Five cards there. Don't have that. This one we can enter, looks like. Crazy coin collecting. Uh, I've got enough to do tier one. Let's do tier one. And we'll just add our characters in. Let's battle. And we'll show you how to battle. Because, uh, of course, this is a battling game. Move my guy over here. So now you can see uh, all the cards on the right is the ones you're battling. And you can choose which ones you want to battle first. Uh, no time limit here. And then each of your, my characters on the left have special powers that you activate in the lower right with the uh, just the press of a button. Uh, and then up at the top left here, I'm going to make this three times. This gets through the battle a little bit quicker. Three times the speed. So uh, let's uh, start out. I think the witch can heal. So we'll. Well, that gets that gets everybody. Now you see uh, my man up front there. That's got the uh, swirly little thing around him. He's stunned. So uh, that's you know just part of your each card. <laughs> that's great. Each card has uh, different powers and things. Stevie is my most powerful as you can tell. I just took that person out of one. Uh, right above you can see they have special little uh, things that they can gain. Um, buffs and debuffs, you might say. So this guy over here, the five-headed mini Lenny that's on the side that I'm battling, he's got increased damage on the critical attack, and he's got plus 25 speed right now. So, I just took him out one And then uh, the uh, Optimus Prime look-alike here. He's got the uh, taunt, so he's taunting everybody who's got to attack him. And you can see his health is way up there. So, definitely want to have him. Uh, yeah. Staying away from the other characters. Uh, Stevie here, he can heal. He just healed everybody. Dodge that. And of course, you're going to use some of these abilities every so often, and they can even block you from using some of the abilities. Keep going through here, just. So there was only one stage in that battle, and we made it through just fine. Got some extra coinage. What's, what a great artwork that is. So to get to level two here, I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, looks like upgrade some characters. You gotta have all like level two characters there. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's go over to some other battles here. We've got uh, Calamity Club. We got. Nut fights, we got dolt fights, and we got the arena. Arena is you're actually battling against other teams and you're trying to level yourself up uh, in the arena. You get up to 10 battles a day. Right now, my ranking is 7,947. Wow. Um, so I need to level that up, and then based on whatever level you're at, is what rewards you win each day. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's go down here to the Dolt Fights. Uh, once you get three stars, then you can simulate the battle. Or instant win, as they say down here. I need to, uh, 
check this out. See if I can get three stars. So I got three cards available to me this time in this battle. See if I can keep all three of these guys alive and win, and that will get me to uh, achieve three stars, and I can simulate the next. Game. So again, you got some people that got buffs. You can throw debuffs on people. Got to make it through the battle here. Person with the least amount of health first. Take them out. Now this one I got three stages of battle. This is just the first. So dodging me. The next one. Let's go after. Yeah. No, that's easy. I'm gonna release it here. Need is the names on the card because I can't remember. <laughs> it's been so many years, man. It's like I like the garbage bell kids, and I have maybe two or three cards uh, in my collection nowadays that uh, I just can't remember them anymore. They're such cool names, you know, and each one had two, so. I don't think that they do both names in here. It's probably just one or the other. Series A, Series B, or... I can't remember how they did it back in the day. But I'm just going through. I'm, I'm clicking my buttons in the right. These powers become available. And a little bit of healing. Come on. Ugh. So to star, but I'll get some rewards at the end. Close to losing. some health every time. There we go. Get a good three. Let's see what we get. So we I some, love uh, coins. winning! <laughs> Experience points as well. Uh, so, y yeah, you can go through there and uh, let's go back to our collection here. Let's see if maybe we can upgrade one of these. Miss Britt here, uh, she needs. these here. The Drunken Head Plan. So there's some instant win. Let's try a couple of those. See if we can get one of those plans. Oh yeah! Looks like we did. Claim that. Now let's go back to her card. And now you see it is a green plus sign over here on the right where her junk is. Crack that and equip it. And now we can upgrade her junk. Her junk is all hanging out. Go ahead and equip that one. Go ahead and equip that one since we have it. So now we equipped, basically that was the strength of her attacks. Uh, to get her cards, we're going to have to find, uh, so some are available in the Nuts Pack. It's probably cost me. Where's the Nuts Pack? Yeah, ten bucks. Sorry, I'm not one to really pay for stuff like this. Uh, let's just do some instant wins. See if we can't get a couple more of the cards we need for her. Three. Let's just do three. See what we get. There, so we got one. That was awesome! That was awesome. And we got some other junk. The tickets, you need the tickets too to do your instant wins. But this is, uh, you know, if you're 
there's uh, DC does the I think it's the DC Heroes. It's similar. Like I said, I do the Galaxy of Heroes for Star Wars. I think Marvel does one as well. That's in this same format. And let's see. Back to our card collection here. Looks like there was a couple notifications here on something. I didn't see exactly what. Uh, the Bazaar. Okay, so yeah. Let me go over here because this is another store. This is where you can buy stuff with gems. So if I wanted to get some more TV Stevie cars to try to upgrade them to the next level, I can use gems there. Uh, there are some things you can get with just your coins. I got plenty of coins, so you can buy some of these things. Three of those. Falsetto teeth. Four slapsticks. Let's see what's up here. We got some more currency. I need 400 of those. Don't quite have it to get uh, some more of these cards. Sweaty Betty, Weird Wendy, Bruised Lee, Smelly Sally. And uh, I can get some of these now. Christmas Carol. Eerie Eric, I think I got, oh no, Mean Gene, let's see, I think I got some Mean Gene shards, let's go ahead and get some of those. Super Sue, I'm going to go ahead and get some Eerie Eric too, I think I already got some of those. Four. There, he's unlocked, so let's go unlock him. They're class of they have classifications, so you he's furious and he's also a support character, which usually means he heals people. Uh, and then you can train them. You go down here with your uh, experience points, get you up to level twenty-seven here, forty thousand coins. I got that. So we upgraded him. His level and his junk. Look at that. We've got all that. So let's go ahead and equip all these over here on the right under the junk. That sounds like a great in this game. I've almost I got a lot of uh, seconds down here. Go ahead and equip it. And we'll go hunt for some more uh, later. Let's see. I did upgrade one of his powers. Another one I can upgrade. Another one. So I need my junk at level four to uh, open that ability as a leader. All teammates gain five percent evasion. So, as you can tell, you know different uh, cards have leader that you can put in there and. Uh, Okay, I see now. We've got a spot here with audio craft. I'll have to find that. We've got energy. We do have some. Let's see. Nope. I'll have that energy. So we'll have to go back and try to upgrade Odd Todd later. Uh, so that's basically it. There's a store. So we've been in the store, Calamity Club, that's another place to uh, fight. I was in the Dolt fights, the Nut fights, I got a few there as well. And then the special events help you out. Uh, and then of course, like I said, the arena. And my activities, there's something else I did today. I need five more, two more fights on a hard difficulty to earn all that stuff. Two fights in the arena. And you got different activities so I this is a can be a daily game if you want it to be as you're upgrading characters as you're gaining energy to uh, fight and uh, do all that stuff but again a lot of this is the 
just classic characters of uh, Garbage Pail Kids. And uh, I do like this style of game. And of course, I'm trying to learn all the names again <laughs> from all the Garbage Pail Kids characters. Uh, so that's a little bit of what's going on with Garbage Pail Kids. Let's uh, head back out. I'll give you a rating. Okay, so here we are back in the virtual nerd lounge. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, it's a fun game, and if you like this type of game like I do, I think you'll get hooked enough that you'll keep going want to collect those uh, characters like Atom Bomb that I haven't got yet uh, just to see what they do and, and how they're, uh, they're fighting and uh, powers and all that do during the game. Uh, I really enjoy the game. So uh, definitely it's a 5 out of 5 for me. And like I said, this style of game isn't for everybody because it, you got to really progress in the game unless you want to shell out some, you know, major coin. Uh, but it's still fun, and like I said, these characters are just pure nostalgia. They're my childhood. So naturally, collecting them again in a virtual way has really appealed to me. So five out of five for Garbage Pail Kids, the mobile game. Hope you will like this video. Hope you will subscribe. And if you want to get these videos, be one of the first to get these videos, make sure you hit that notification bell down below. And uh, as always, I got links to the games uh, in the description as well for you to click over and start downloading and start the fun. So thanks for watching this episode of Jay Plays. We will catch you next time.